Hello. Hello, everyone. Happy Wednesday. How's everybody doing? Ready for some crafty, creative fun? I wish it's just rain and gray skies all week long. Hi, Heather. Yep, you're here. I see a couple of peop other people. They're not chatting, but they've logged in. Hello, Sharon. No. What was it? Are you asking me if I saw your picture on the news, Heather? Liz? Hello, Janelle. Hello, Annette. Arnett, I'm sorry, I always say Annette. That's because from the distance that I am to my computer, it always looks like Annette to me. <laughs> no, I didn't see it, but sunshine and rainbows is a term that I use all the time because I just want sunshine and rainbows. Uh, usually I'm talking about people who come around with all of their, I, I use, um, weather terms with all of their sleet and sludge and I'm like nope sunshine and rainbows sunshine and rainbows <laughs> that's what I want in my life sunshine and rainbows hello Bonnie really I don't know why that's interesting <laughs> I'm looking to make sure I didn't do anything. No. I've got my microphone hooked up. Don't know why it would be doing something weird with the sound. Hey, Galena. Oh one eight oh one. Guess what that means? That means I'm going to change my camera angle and we're going to go ahead and get started. Tonight I am doing something a little bit different. The prompt for Journal 52 is cards. Um, you guys probably saw that when you went to my website. Uh, also said it was anything goes. It. I originally thought I was going to do viewer's choice, but I'm going with anything goes. Um, and we'll do, maybe we'll do viewer's choice next week, which will mean you guys get to pick the colors. But today, I decided that I'm going to make cards. So we're going to make cards. I mean, you can decide what kind of cards you want to make, or if you just want to make an art journal page, or whatever. Um, ATCs, embrace your art cards, uh, greeting cards, it's up to you. But the technique and the size that I'm going to be working with is going to be card size. But you guys will be able to see everything. And, of course, everything I do, you'll be able to do in your art journal or a painting or whatever. And I'm going to be using, just so you know, I decided that I'm going to be using um, Distress Stain and Distress Ink. Okay? So, if you have Distress Stain and Ink Pads, grab it and let's play. Hello, let me say hi to a couple of people. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Mama Rose. Alright, so switching my camera angle and we're going to have some fun. Alright, so some 
of you ask me all the time about my paper because it has that great texture. So I use Strathmore. Strathmore acrylic paper. This is my favorite. Um, this is a 246 pound. Okay. This is the paper that I love. I love the texture. I love the weight. understand what's going on with the um no do I sound really weird to everyone and really fast because I, I did say that a little bit fast but someone told me I sounded like the chipmunks which means there may be something wrong with the sound so I do, so everyone, nope, surely I sound fine. Okay, so Bonnie, you may need to um, refresh your screen, your screen. If you have a weird sound, <laughs> yeah, so you might need to just do a refresh and then come back in and that might fix the sound. Because some of you... Okay, so you say way fast too, Akalina. Alright, so... Yep, Leslie says fine, and Arnett says fine, Shirley says fine, Galena and Bonnie says fast. So, ladies... Try refreshing and see what happens. Okay, cool, good. Okay, good, it's not me. All right, so I'm going to be using a sheet of Strathmore. Basically, I'm tearing the sheet out. I did not gesso, and I'm not gonna gesso, and I hope what I do works on my non-gesso paper. And for those of you who are just coming in, we're doing cards. So this is a, an awesome technique for ATCs. You can use it for greeting cards. You can use it for embrace cards. Um, you know, whatever it is that you want. That is so funny. <laughs> Alright, good. I'm glad to hear that it's a Ustream issue. So... Typically, let me just tell you, what I typically do is I will do this technique on one sheet of paper or when I'm doing cards, I like to create one back background and cut them up. But tonight, I decided I'm actually going to cut the cards up because I want to use different colors. So, I'm going to cut the cards up real quick um, and maybe I will keep some of these and use them for my embrace cards. So if you want to follow me exactly how I am doing this, I am cutting three by four inch cards. And uh, for those of you who don't know, I am actually going to do um, some splats and splatters. The Embrace Your Art prompt for tomorrow is splats and splatters. So I thought, why not do that during the art party? Because I've been really busy today, so I have not done my prompt for tomorrow. So I'm going to do it with you guys tonight. Yes, it seems that the problem is you stream. Miko just let us know that Ustream seems to be having a problem tonight, so I do apologize for that. <laughs> well, I can go out and come back in and see if that makes a difference, but then that means I cut off the, the video. But it's Ustream. So Ustream is having a problem. That's 
terrible. <laughs> Can I talk really, really slowly and then it works? Okay, Heather, Liv. Um, just, just for, as an FYI, I actually decided that you guys have heard me talk about my goal of having a studio and having better equipment and having uh, no commercials. So I am going to be kicking off a Kickstarter campaign, which is crowdsourcing or like fundraising for your dreams. Um, of course, my dream is to have a studio where I am able to teach and build confidence and creativity in children and adults alike. And so, um, one of the things I want to do is get rid of the commercials. So, that'll be a part of my Kickstarter campaign to build a wonderful uh, place where people can come and have mommy-daughter dates or just children's classes or girls' night out. Uh, I am starting small with a studio in my home. Currently, I do it in my dining room which is cream colored and that is not gonna work <laughs> painting in my dining room is a really scary thing although i've done it a couple of times it's time for me to to start to build on that dream and to really uh, transfer the space and recreate the space into a place where we can really art together all right so you guys will hear more about that later <laughs> but for now let's play so i've got a bunch of cards I'll do four to six of them on screen or whatever I can do within the hour. Um, but this is a cool, quick technique. All right, so I need to grab some freezer paper. Freezer paper or your craft sheet. Thank you, Shirley. Sorry for that. That loud noise is my freezer paper tearing. And I'm just going to... Tuck it under. And again, I'm using Distress Stain for this. Some of you have probably seen me do this technique before. And if you haven't, tonight is your lucky night. <laughs> Alright, so I've got all of the Distress Stain that I own. So I only own seven. So I've got it here in Dusty Concord. This one is Mustard Seed, Tarnished Brass, this one is Barn Door, Walnut Stain, some of them are on the side, Broken China, and last but not least, faded jeans. Okay? So those are my colors for tonight. And this is a very simple technique. You will need some water that you can spritz. Hello, Miss Kiva. Okay? So pick three colors. I always like to start with three. And I'm going to go with my favorite my, my favorite three for this first one and then I'll move on to some different color combinations. So I've got the, the bro so I'm going to just call them simple names like blue, gold, and purple. <laughs> so what you do is you take your stain, dab it a little onto your paper, or you make sure it's your craft sheet. Spritz it a little bit with water to get it to activate and blend. Then you're going to take your card and just rub it through. Okay? And you can rub it through both ways. Because you see I didn't get color on both parts. So there. Okay? And I'm just going to set that right there. And I'm going to do another one in that same color. And of course you can use what's there. Or if you need to add more color, do that. Oh, 
I just love this technique. Isn't that gorgeous? And yes, you can drag your, you could do the same with your book. So you could drag your book through as well. Okay. So there, I've got two in that color set. So I'm just going to dry that up or wipe that up. I'm going to dry these a little bit and then move on to another one. I'm going to put these to the side and we're going to pick another color combination. Okay, so, yep, freezer paper. This is freezer paper. And it, you could use a craft sheet or freezer paper. All right, so, I did, since I said anything goes, but I did also say viewer's choice, what are my next three colors? Purple, blue, gold, yellow brown, red, or navy. Go. Somebody give me a color. Yes, Diane, something's going wrong with Ustream tonight. Barnyard. Navy. What's my third color? And purple. That's what I'm doing. All right. So just again, dab the color onto your paper. Mist or spritz a little with water. And then drag your card through it. And you can leave it like it is. Or you can drag through again. I'm going to leave that one just like that. This time I'm hoping that I get a little bit more blue and purple. So now I'm going to gonna dab this one again and see if I get some purple at the bottom. Just a little. Some red. Yeah, love it. Now I'm going to again dry. All right, what's my next three colors? I'll do one more set and then we'll start decorating these since it is already, no, it's only 8.17. When I do do the playback, is it going to be what you guys see? I hope that it's recording properly. It's not, because it, well, it's recording properly for some people. So that's really awful. I'm sorry. I wish there was something that I could do. Alright, so my next three colors are going to be, someone said navy. Any other color suggestions? How about brown, since we haven't used brown. 
and I need one more. I'm going to pick yellow since we haven't used the yellow either. <laughs> yellow, you guys say yellow, yay! Alright, so let's see what this looks like. We've got the blue, brown, and the yellow. that gorgeous oh, I love it I just I love how that turns out now you see how that spread out you can also just put it down and pick it up and you can because there's not much blue in that you can add some blue I didn't even miss this one Oops. and not drag the bottom through try to get some blue in there to put it down and pick it up again. Yay! Yay! I love it, I love it, I love it. And I like that because I just tapped it so it added that little funky pattern right there. So much you can do. love love all right i'm gonna dry and then i think i'll do one more step so you guys might see some of these and embrace your art i'll just use these as my background and add some art on top of them on the ones that I don't do art with tonight. Putting to the side. Nope, I didn't use any gesso tonight. All right, so one last combo. I'm going with brown, I'm going with gold, and I think this time that turquoisey one. All right, so again, just add it, a couple little splats, mist of water and then just drag your paper through the color. Ooh, I love that color combination. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, happy, happy, joy, joy. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Alright. This time, I'm actually going to just lay my card in this. I got one left, so. Just pick up. Oh, is that beautiful? Or what? I love it, I love it, I love it. So you can do this in your book and I may add since it's 
since it's supposed to be an art journal page, I don't know. I may just add some of these to my um, art journal as well. You know, just kind of stick them on the page. Do something with them. But not tonight. Not tonight. Alright, so I'm going to dry these. Yes, it's just such a wonderful technique. It's awesome for making tags. You can do it on a grander scale on a page. I actually did it on a 12 by 12 scrapbook page. And some cards, some greeting cards. Love, 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 love. can't even decide which one is my favorite. I mean, look at how gorgeous these are. When you put them side by side, I'm just sitting here and I'm thinking, okay, which ones will I add some art to? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Look at that. Uh, isn't that pretty? You see all the different ones. Alright, so I will say that I really like this one. So I'm going to pick that one. How about if I just pick one in each color? palette. That'll do it. And we'll just play with these and see what happens. Okay, so I did pull out a couple of things to use tonight. Um, I've got some rub-ons here. I've got stamps. I have a wonderful secret pile. I'm in a secret swap and my secret pile sent me the this set of Tim Holtz stamps. Or a Tim Holtz stamp. It's not a set. It's a stamp. But it's really kind of cool. Still. It's like tickets. Alright. So I'm going to stamp. And I am going to use rub-ons. So that's the next step. You need another layer. So my next layer is going to be stamps or rub-ons. So get your stamps out, get your rub-ons out, get whatever you want, your stencil out, and add some um, pattern, some more pattern to your background. And you don't have to use black. I'm using black. At least I'm going to use black for this first one. I'm all messed up. Alright. So I'm going to stamp. And just stamp wherever you want. You can stamp it all over the background or just stamp it in a corner or whatever. And you know me with these stamps. I'm never that careful, meaning I don't put them on my block or anything. So it's a light stamp on there, but it's what I want. Now I'm going to use rub-ons, and I have Tim Holtz rub-ons. I have a few packs, so I think I'll just take some from each pack 
And if you know me, then you probably know that I will take rub-ons and I will use up the whole, you know, I'll just, that's it, that one's not full. I'll use the rub-ons, I'll usually use the whole sheet. This time I'm only going to use this little corner and be happy with that. You know, I just rub the rub-ons on, so it doesn't matter to me, you know, if you cut out a special part or whatever, I'm, I'm not worried about that. I think I have two sheets of this one, which is what I'm trying to do, fine. All right! I like this. Here and now, this is a happy life. So I am just going to actually, yep, I'm just going to cover this with the rub on. We're going to see if that works. <laughs> and then for this last one. I'm just going to use this little, this little bit. And then we're going to go from there. So I'm going to use rub-on. Now I'm going to grab my rub-on tool and get to rubbing. And hope this all works. It's kind of warm in here. Hold on. Need to turn on my ceiling fan. Alright, so pick your rub-ons and just go ahead and add them to your cards. And then we'll add some more stuff. You might need markers or something if you're going to doodle. rub on pretty well. Typically. I'm sorry if I'm shaking up the camera as I rub. This U is the only thing. Ugh, that is so crazy. Did anybody see that? <laughs> it rubbed off and then it stuck back on the rub on. I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. This is some straight up free creating. I don't know where I'm going with this. I just know I wanted to use rip on. And stamps. Alright, so here we go. And I hope that I have rubbed. I'm going kind of fast because I chose to put a lot from this one on the card. And I hope that that was not dumb and going to take me forever and a day. Yeah, I think it will take me forever and a day. So I'm rethinking this one. I'm going to cut a piece off. Or better yet, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use this. Yes, I don't think I want to rub the whole thing on. So instead, I'm going to just do this little vine, piece of a vine. Good night, Bonnie. Yeah, you know, it might be, but I'm going to see if this one rubs off on it. But that one's so big that I know I'd be rubbing on forever, and I don't want to. 
Yeah, see this one's coming right off. I just think that that one needs a little bit more pressure and time. And you see I didn't spend much time with it, but I need this to go sort of fast. Since we don't have all night long, y'all not gonna be here with me all night long. <laughs> oh, isn't that pretty? Look at that. I love it. I love it. I know you guys hear my phone going crazy with the dings. All right. I do need to put some of this stuff back. I hate when I have too much mess. Although if you saw me creating, like just sitting here doing art, oh my God, I meant the biggest mess ever. All right. So now I told you I was going to do splats and splatters. So now I'm going to do some splatters and then I don't know, some more stuff. <laughs> some more stuff on here? I don't know. So first things first. I'm going to pick the color. Purple is the one color that didn't come out much. So here's how you do a splatter or a splat with your distress stain. And this is messy. So be sure that you are either covered. I have on my apron or um and have things around so you get the color that you want and that you want to create your splat with and you just hit it okay just hit it just like i said just splat it right on there love that there Putting that to putting that to the side, make sure it's out of the way of your next splat. And I'm adding a splat to all of these. A splat or two or three. That one, that gold is hot. It's thicker. It's gold. It doesn't splat as well as the others. I'll try it again. But it's thick. Yeah. Nah, ain't splatting. How fun is that? Look at that. Is that awesome or what? I love that. Oh, so cute. All right, put it to the side. Keep it moving. And this is that gold again. Not going to splat, but I'm still going to tap it. I'm going to try to get... That one I hit a little bit harder, so it gave me a little bit of a splat. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Alright. Another one to the side. And then I'm going to do this one more. This one is yellow. Love, love, love. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Alright, 
So now, of course, got to do some drying and then some more embellishing. But how cute are these already? Right? Seriously, I could be so done. Ink the edges or something and just be so done. This one is disturbing me. <laughs> I think I need another splat on this because that is so pale. The background is so pale. I think I'm going to add one of the rub-ons to that. But first, I'm going to move these over so that... Oh, I know what I'm going to... I think I know what I'll do to that one. I need blue... So I can add a blue splat. There, that makes me happier. Because that one is driving me nuts. It's not as vibrant as the others. Alright. I don't know what I did that fast with my baby white. Loving these. Now I will say Okay, so you guys talk Tuesday morning, you are still talking about the distress stains and not the paints because the paints will dry up. I, everybody do not run to Tuesday morning for uh this for those paints those uh adirondack ranger tim holtz paints that are like these the dabbers they turn to um plastic in the bottle I want to dry my splats. Because if they're not so wet as I continue to create. Ooh, I love it. I love it. You guys see how gorgeous those are? Alright. I love it. Okay, I was going to use Distress uh, Ink. But I'm just going to keep using my black. I think I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges of these. And I pulled out some different little things. I've got some metal here. I've got some butterflies here. I've got some wood. Um, I've got some different stamps. Of course, I always have my markers available. So I'm going to ink the edges and then decide on what additional things I am going to add to my card. And my poor little niece is just texting me away. She's trying to decide on a prom dress and wants to know what I think of the prom dresses. <laughs> She's going to wait. And I will tell you, I have not liked very many of them, but I keep telling her, don't ask me, because she wants a little short-fitted dress. And I'm like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Not the ones that today, thank goodness, she finally got more classy, shall I say, <laughs> with her choice. Thank goodness. So I'm inking edges and starting to think of what else I want to do with these.
favorite things is inked edges. And I love dragging my pad over the texture of this paper, the acrylic paper, because it's just gorgeous. And that's that. Yep. Yep, it sure is Mama Rose. It is what I always do. It is one of my little signature things. I love the ink edges. All right. So this is what they look like right now. And literally, I love them. And I could, this one, these two, I could totally be happy with doing nothing else. I love them. I just love them. The colors are gorgeous. I could simply live <laughs> with them just as they are. Good. Alright, so let's add some goodness to them. I've got my little veneers here and I was thinking that one of them deserves a bird. Something. Oh, it's a bird. Oop. I just poured out all the birds, didn't I? I like that. How about that? Three birds. I love that. I'm going with the three birds on that one. Oops, I just dropped the bird. I'll get it later. It's somewhere. So I'm just thinking about what I want to add to these. I got some, oh, you know, I got a bag of metal. Thank you. You know, I have not done a pocket letter yet, but I'm going to need to do something with, <laughs> with these cards. <laughs> I got a bag full of just metal pieces. this to be big and bulky so hmm nope I don't think I'm gonna use that might use that Just bag them up and send them to you. <laughs> All right. I don't know where my. I don't know where my um. What are these gears? I don't know where my gears are. I have a little thing of gears. I think I want another gear, and I don't think I have any more gears in this. Or just bag up my metal and send them to you. Many cute little things in here. 
and I'm not going to use up all my metal. All right, putting these away. I like the gears, so I'm using the gears on that one. And I think I'm going to get some flowers out. All right. Look at the little, look at this. I don't know. I just like that right there. Can you see that? All right, so let me start sticking some of this stuff down so that I can figure out what comes next. 849. Got some glue dots here. So that's that. Adding metal to that one. I think I'm going to get some flowers for one of these. I don't know what I'm doing with this one. This one's confusing me. I'm not sure that I'm going to leave my cute little music. I have a real hard time using music symbols on things because my husband is a musician, so I like ha I don't have that many. So I like using them when I'm doing something for him. So I'm going to hold off on that one. I love this. All right, flowers. How about a uh, or some flowers? I got flowers here, so I'm being quiet. Uh, you don't see me on here, but I do have some flowers. I'm thinking about flowers. <laughs> so, I don't know. Thank you. <laughs> I have no idea what I want to do now. I love that one. Okay, you guys, I'm at a standstill. Give me a second. I know. I think I'm starting to get some ideas, at least with color. Hold on. I don't think that's exactly what I want. Mm, I may just have to get out my pens and start drawing or something. I like this perp this flower though. Too many choices. Yep. I think I got it. 
I think I like that. I, that one's good. I think with this, this one's good. And you know, I'll do a little something. I just love this one too. And I'm just like, what do I want to do? Do I want to put a flower on it? I pulled out more flowers, so I really think it's that yellow flower, though. Yep, yep, I'm starting to like this one a little more now. I think I'm liking that. All right, all right, I'm getting there. Y'all can't even imagine. Y'all don't get to see everything. All of the mess I made trying to figure out what I want to do next. I actually have these stamps here that I wanted to use. It is 8.55. Oh Lord. All right, so I got new stamps that I just bought. Aren't they cute? And I kind of want to use them. Maybe. Okay, maybe I don't have to because we need to we need to get this party wrapped up. So let me grab my glue dots and stick some stuff down. And then that way I can grab my pens and markers and stuff and do my little last bit of uh, adding finishing touches. How about that? <laughs> I just decided that this one would have flowers and this one will have a butterfly this little washer thing. Oh, if that was bigger. Or if it was smaller. I really like that on there. I love these. These are getting used soon. Okay, so I'm going to grab some bling. Alright, so Alright, so for my cards, we've got these. I'm going to put some bling in here. I'm going to grab my pens, doodle, add a little something something to them. And we are going to be done. Done, done, and done. Okay? <laughs> How about white? And I didn't even, I did splats, but I didn't really do splatters. And I think I might. Because I still 
people don't know about this one. <laughs> so I'm going to add some splatters in black. You see, when you do this, it gets everywhere. I don't have my wet. There it is. This one's wet. Okay. Alright, so now grab your pins, put some finishing touches on here, and be happy. <laughs> be happy. Happy, happy, happy. <laughs> Just whatever you like. Just whatever you like. I, this one I love, so I'm not going to do much to it. I'm just going to scribble and be happy with the scribble. So, I just put my signature scribble on that one. That's all I'm going to do with that one. I love this one as it is. So I put a signature scribble there, a scribble there. I drew around the circle and that a little scribble. And now it is done. Okay. Alright. This one. I think I'm going to add some white dots. That you cannot see there. Love that. Add some dots. I am going to add that wonderful signature scribble. adding some fun funky lines from my flowers and boy what simple little things add beauty oh my gosh there now that one is done all right This one, I am going to have to get some more. I am taking this and adding a flourish. However, I've got this white and I'm going to use it for some dots. And for this one, I'm going to use the black to do lines all the way around. And 
I'm just dotting these again to make sure that the white shows better. Simple, sweet, cute, done. All right, and last but not least is this one that I don't know. I just don't know. So I think I'm going to have to doodle a little bit. know what to do with this one. I'm going to draw some hash marks. Alright, and oh, I had an idea and it's gone. I think I will add a few hearts. And a little bit of white, and I'll be done with this one, too. I'm going to definitely do a signature screen. But I just want to get this last little bit down. I love the little white dots I've been adding lately, too. Signature scribble coming right up, and I'm going to be done. Can't see it very well. I do have a white, I do have white. Let me see if I have my white. I don't know where my white pens are. So, yeah, it's not quite working because what I was thinking is a signature scribble in white, right? But I don't know where my white pens are. So, ah, hold up. Let's see. I got a whole new let me see if they'll work on here and then I'm done for real yeah Miss Miko TR butterfly I did butterfly just for you when you was being a bum we'll have to do some again so let's see if this will work brand new just opened but it's really hard to write on distress stain especially when it's not so dry so we're not going to do that all right i'm done i did four cards tonight here's one two three and four all right, four cards. That's it. I'm done. Fun time. Thank you so much. <laughs> I hope that you were able to create with me and that you 
got some ideas from these and share your art. Remember to share your art and embrace your uh, art daily group or the uh, art party with TR group on Facebook. I'd love to see what you create. Thank you so much for coming out and creating with me. I had a blast. I hope you did too. Good night. Muchas, smooches, ladies. Thank you so much. Have an awesome night. I will see you all next Wednesday uh, here with another fun lesson. And I will see you on Facebook. Glad you like them. Thank you so much. Those are my kisses to you. Have a good night. These will be up on my blog uh, tomorrow. And uh, I will share in the group as well. Alright, have a great night. Love you much. Bye, sweet dreams.